Multi-platinum gospel recording artist Paul Wilbur arrived in Israel to finalize his investment in local startup company Face Design, which has taken upon itself to unite the around 500 million Israeli supporting evangelists around the world under one unique social network. We have taken now significant funds uh, tens of thousands of dollars from our own corporation to invest in this startup company here in Tel Aviv because I seem it, it feels like an extension of who we are and helps us also to reach out uh, in the nations where we spend a lot of our time. It's very exciting for us. The startup Wilbur has invested in was created by a group of Israeli entrepreneurs led by Nir Ariely, who discovered a huge economic potential in the messianic evangelistic community. I had a dream. A dream about Israel. Zion, the Holy Land. Face to Zion, it's a tool, a platform that in free clicks people can connect immediately and be part of a huge community and at the end can be also physically here with a physical presence. The monument is uh, the mirror of uh, uh, the virtual world. Each one of the people that will upload his photo on the virtual website and the virtual mosaic will be able to see himself on the real world, on a monument made of glass in front of the Sea of Galilee. And then when they will come to Israel, they will be able to see uh, to feel and to touch this beautiful monument. It will be uh, two meters high and 10 meters uh, length uh, multiplied 10 times or 12 times. Wilbur, who was born to a Christian mother and a Jewish father, has always felt a strong connection to his Jewish side, although it is as follows as a messianic minister which has made him a household name internationally with millions of records sold, hundreds of thousands of people following his every move on Facebook and Twitter, and tens of thousands of people who come to see him sing live at concerts, which he has already performed in all five continents. I've been now to over 60 nations. I have a, a message that, that makes war against certain things. Uh, Anti-Semitism for one, uh, anti-Israel for another. Uh, I think Israel would be very encouraged to know that there are passionate lovers of Zion all around the world. Even in the Middle East, I've been to Dubai 7,000 came to hear me in a Muslim country. And then Kuwait, uh, five acres of land covered with people standing shoulder to shoulder. Uh, and I'm singing songs of Zion and, and in Hebrew, I stand on a platform in front of a, in a Muslim nation and sing, Hine matov humanaim shevet achim gam yachad, are you kidding? You know, in English, in Hebrew, we sing about Jerusalem, uh, and it, it's it's an amazing time right now. But this is our this is our passion, and we're finding lots of open ears. But before Wilbur left Israel, he had to meet up with famous Israeli singer David Deor, who has made an international name for himself, performing six times at the Vatican in front of the Pope, President Clinton, the King of Thailand, and most recently, President Obama. It has been Paul's dream for some time to perform with Deor. We were in touch many years, um, but we never met each other, actually. And this is the first time we meet face to face and I'm very much excited. He's a great singer, great musician as well. He writes beautiful melodies and uh, I think the chemistry, you could see that we have, it's because I believe singing is something from the inside, from the heart, you know, so you cannot, you cannot make, you cannot make as if. If you're not there, people will be able to recognize that, to see that. This is the first time I'm learning this song, you know, I never heard it before and he just taught me, but uh, still I could feel that we speak the same language, the language of the heart.
Phase Design is currently in its final beta stages and is hoping to launch officially by the end of the year. For JN1, I'm Ron Jacobson in Tel Aviv.